Aloha, this is Miley, MileyStones.com, and we're here at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. It's the greatest show on earth of the stones, where we all come like once a year to travel to Mecca and <laughs> yeah. worship our <laughs> the loves and passions of our lives. And today I want to introduce you to a guy who I've been buying stones from. Um, I call him the crocodile stone to you, Boston <laughs> Rock. <laughs> I don't know how you feel well, about that, Glenn, but that. this is Glenn, <laughs> and he brings stone out of Western Australia and um, amazing stones and so I asked him if he wouldn't mind telling us a little story or telling us about one of the stones that he's passionate about. Yep, yeah, well one of my favourite rocks that I hunt for is peanut wood. Uh, it's a pretty silly name but I just happen to have a couple of bits there. It's a petrified wood that's been attacked by a shellfish called a torito. Well you might wonder how the hell does a shellfish attack wood? Well, this used to be driftwood in the ocean millions of years ago, and these little light coloured spots here are where the shellfish bored into the timber, or the wood, when it was wood, then it sunk to the bottom, and the, the light coloured sediment infilled all the little tunnels that were in the wood there. I'm just this while I'm up or not, but you can actually see this is like a full, full round of wood. You can see the heart there, and all the little spots are the little tunnels that the, the mollusk has made in the timber. And what I love about this is it, it gets back to the old fashioned prospect. You've got to walk around over rocky hills and creeks and canyons and gullies and you'll just find a little piece here or a little piece there. Maybe you walk all day and you find nothing at all. Um, but quite often you can find like a little fragment on the ground and, and if, you, if you dig around it's quite possible to actually find the remnants of like a log that's still embedded in the ah. in the rock, uh, like in the outcropping rock that it occurs in. Uh, so you're very satisfying when you do get a get a nice piece because being surface material, most of it is very sort of cracky. You tap it with a hammer and it sort of falls to bits. Ah. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's quite quite difficult to get a decent solid piece of rock. You do get it's actually quite good for. Um, Oh. They're even making jewellery out of when you get like the little tiny holes. So you could imagine just cutting like a little stone out of there and you'll still get like a lot of squiggly patterns and lines and so on. Well actually a lot of people who are going to be watching this video probably have bought beads from me made out of peanut wood because I buy my peanut wood from Glad. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, um, how do you transport it all? I mean, you just find the pieces and then go get it in a, like a truck if it's a large piece. Yeah, well, being it's it's really rugged country, so you, you can only do it on foot. Yeah. Uh, so it's a matter of having a backpack and and then um, to get onto a fair bit of it, make a little little stockpile here and a little stockpile there, and then try and get the four wheel drive as close as possible um, to it. You know, maybe you've got to carry it on out on the back for half a mile or so. I love that. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Sounds no, it's like a lot of fun. No, you, well, yeah, a mule. Um, I'm going to invest in a six-wheel drive um, quad bike, uh, bike. And, oh. and you can carry like half a ton of them, um, and they'll go pretty well anywhere. Mm. Probably more places than a mule will, I would imagine. But uh, that would be the perfect collecting machine. But right. uh, you really need to be on foot um, to find the stuff. You know, you're too busy concentrating on if you're riding a bike right. or a machine. You're, you're busy on ride, riding that, not concentrating on. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I know I love Pinewood and I'm really grateful to you for being out there in the world and collecting the stones that um, I would never get an opportunity to have. Oh, well, I do it for me as well. I love, I love collecting, so yeah. it's a bonus that other people like it too. Yay! <laughs> well, thanks so much, Glenn. Thanks for sharing with everyone here today and um, we look forward to bringing more, maybe next, yeah, next year with Glenn and he'll tell us about another stone.